Three, two, one. Oh. Hi. So right now I just want to start decluttering stuff in my house. Right now I'm just going to start small. For me though, because I get overwhelmed and I have anxiety and everything, um, I just want to start off small and then just work up to like the big things like a closet and like the bathrooms and um, I don't know, kitchen things, you know. And so let's do this. Okay, so here is the top of my dresser. Um, yeah, it's, it's a mess. Can anyone tell me, um, how to make these stop leaking? Um, these are like my favorite. I've cleaned them. I've cleaned the lid. But they're still kind of leaking, like inside of the lid, you know? So I don't know. That's why I have it right here. Anyone can give me some advice. Please let me know. through this I have I've gone through this like multiple times and um I just don't know what to do they're not really organized very well and like for example like but I don't want to give them away or like get rid of them because for example as you can see I'm a sucker for earrings um but like this is from my grandma who passed away I don't really remember but it, it, it's not recently, but, like, it's something, like, kind of sentimental. And I kind of would like to have it better organized. And, like, so I can see them better. And, like, the this as well. That will zoom in. I don't know. But, um, are also my grandma's. And, like, like these I got from Brazil uh, when I lived there. And someone gave me this from Brazil. Um, that I was gonna, oof, that they gave to me, and they're really pretty, and just, you know, just like some sentimental things. This is the only jewelry box I own, and so I don't know what to do. I, if anyone knows, I kind of don't like this jewelry box. I just have it here just because... It holds this stuff, but I can't really see it that well, and it's not really aesthetically pleasing for, like, what our room is. Um, if anyone knows, please let me know where to get, a, like, an affordable jewelry box. I really enjoyed this. It, it's, it, cut, it looks so much better right now. Um, and yeah, not 100%, but it will get there my goals or resolutions or whatever you want to call it I wanted to make a goal to get up at 6 a.m. for two weeks um, I'm gonna try this for two weeks and see if uh, and see if it will be a consistent thing okay so me and Kevin went to Home Depot this is us just wandering around while we wait for our paint um, we're going to paint we wanted to we've been wanting to paint our half bath for a really long time it's this kind of ugly brownish color and you can see a little bit of what we wanted to paint it and here's the before and we'll show you the after when we're done okay so this is the second week of me trying to get up at 6 a.m first three days were great i got up i did my routine what i what i picked out for what my, i wanted in my routine um, it was it was great. What I learned about this is that 
that I need to be patient with myself, and that I need to be patient with the process as well. This is a message to be patient with yourself if it, there's anything that you're trying that is new, uh, or if it's just something that you want to work on with yourself. Just be patient with yourself and just be patient with the process. You can do this. I know trying new things are, is really hard and scary. It is to me too. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's all I wanted to say. Make sure you like and, su and subscribe. Whoa. Make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. And also, did you know that I have an Instagram and TikTok at Jimena's Moment? Uh, make sure to follow me there. Remember that you are important too. And we'll see you later. Bye.